Hey YouTube, how we going? Just um, gonna do a quick video here to show you this electric mini moto, electric pit bike, whatever you want to call it, that I'm building. Um, yeah, as I said in the last video, it started out as a um, Mongoose CX 24200, uh, they call it. Uh, it was bought out here by Dino. Um, it's getting a pretty big upgrade. Uh, so, so far I'll show you what, what I've done. Um, this is the motor that came out of it, a little Curry 200 watt uh, motor. And this is the motor I've put into it. You can see the size comparison there. <clears throat> this is 2,500 watt brushless motor. The other motor was brushed. I've got a 219 go-kart chain going to the rear sprocket there so I had to get a wheel built built on a surly hub um, with the disc a disc hub and the sprocket is mounted to the disc bolts there um, this is the motor and um, sprocket and chain guard which is not on at the moment chain guard here are from lightning rods in the US uh, he sent this this um, stuff over from me. There was another guy who's done this conversion on Endless Sphere, raised eyebrows. Shout out to Kelly. Thanks, mate, for the idea on this build. Uh, I've put a YZ125 seat on it. They come with a really narrow and very uncomfortable seat. So I just... Um, Modified the um, frame for the seat. Sorry about shaking around everywhere. To fit over this frame. It's quite a sturdy frame on these bikes. As you can see, it's, it's all um, nice, um, quite heavy steel construction. I'm going to uh, change this shock. I think it's a 135mm. I'll change it to a 160 or larger um, these forks are okay for now but I'll probably get a decent set of forks with a bit more travel to raise the height of the whole bike um, for the battery so this space here is where the battery sits and as you can see I've taken over my house at the moment with this build this was the battery case the battery came in which was a um, 24 volt is the new battery and I've got it to fit in the case just uh, so that will that will all close up and fit into the frame uh, I'll get that all wired up shortly I'll show you on the next video the motor running um, I've had it running outside the bike but I've only just fitted it into the bike today so it's coming along, um, a fair bit of wiring to do. I've got a cycle analyst to go with it here and a 12 FET Lion controller. Um, I think the controller is going to mount somewhere up under the seat here. Um, eventually I'll get some guards and side plates which will cover that. But yeah, just a quick um, first video on this build guys. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It should be really powerful, a lot of torque and a decent top speed as well. So stay tuned and I'll keep you posted as the build comes along. Bye for now.